Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to our channel and thanks for logging on. If you enjoy these videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel right now. We've got a lot more on the way. And if you like this Patek Philippe 5711J, check it out along with all its friends on our website, thewatchbox.com, where you'll find additional photos, boxes, papers, accessories, provenance, and full pricing details for this and our entire collection of pre-owned watches. Today, I kind of gave up the game. We're discussing the Patek Philippe Nautilus 5711J-001, a timepiece that by my estimate was made from roughly 2006 to 2009 and discontinued for the 2010 model year. Aside from the platinum iterations, I believe this to be the scarcest of the 5711 family, a watch you will hardly ever see, and certainly even less often on the rubber strap equipped here. This is a watch that you're ready to wear for summer 2018 in the pool or pool side. This is a rare example of a two-way player. A watch that's not afraid to get wet and wild. It's a perfect size. I measure it 40.5 millimeters across the diagonal from roughly 10 to 4 o'clock. It is a slim timepiece, 8.6 millimeters thick. If you were to measure the solid end links that link the case to the strap. They're rigid and they flare out to create a span across the wrist of 49.5 millimeters. So that's fairly compact and on the strap, I would say you could wear this watch on a wrist as small as about 13 and a half to 14 centimeters in circumference. It's an easy, comfortable, and compact timepiece on the wrist. Now let's get a little bit closer. Wrist shots done. The clasp is a superb piece, double deployant with twin trigger release, very secure. You find the right size, you screw it down, you have absolute security. It is rubber, but it features a contrasting stitch, a similar profile, and even a contrasting color on the underside to evoke the leather piece. It is designed to look seamless on the wrist. The rubber, it has the aesthetic of the leather strap. The case is simple and beautifully adorned. Getting a little bit closer here with a measure of focus, you'll note the levels of polish, satin finish, beveling, all hand applied for contrast, complexity, and beauty. The Gerald Gent design still fresh, over 40 years later, as you'll note, the satin finish of the bezel contrasting with the rounded polish of its flanks. There's a little bit of a royal oak here, but also a little bit of a next phase rationale. Agenda trying to surpass himself. The 1972 royal oak followed, of course, by the 1976 Nautilus. This timepiece features a spectacular silver matte metallic dial with the horizontal striations iconic of the model. All appliques, as well as hands at center in yellow gold, the watch features a date window in matching silver with black print for contrast and a very discreet Patek Philippe marquee. Screw down crown, the watch has a quick set date but not hacking seconds. Stay tuned for the end, there will be a loom shot on the case back. Patek Philippe, manufacturer caliber 324. Let's get close, let's get in focus, and let's see what the doctor ordered. The doctor, of course, in this era being Philippe Stern. You'll note automatic winding with a unidirectional action, 35 to 45 hour power reserve, being at 28,800 vibrations per hour, 120 meters water resistant, a watch adjusted in five positions with a 30 joule movement. It is a Gyromax style balance that beats away free sprung, so it's robustly shock resistant and can also take and hold chronometer grade regulation. Note the Poisson de Genève. So all of these watches were made between 2006 and 2009 before the changeover to the Patek Philippe Crest. Gorgeous finishing befitting the Geneva seal. You'll note Cote de Genève linear and circular. High polish on glage, black polished screws, and a micro perlage on the base plate beneath the balance. You also note a micro spiral perlage at the center of the rotor itself. Beautifully executed, this is an old school, mid 2000s exercise in precious metal Nautilus. Far, far less common than the same watch in steel or rose gold. You can see this rare bird and make it yours on our website. And we're back with the Patek Philippe Nautilus 5711J. Rubber strap, yellow gold, exceptionally rare. Highly legible, water resistant, and robustly loomed. This is a true sports watch. One correction, please. I mentioned this is a 30 joule movement. It is a 29 joule movement. You can see and you can purchase the watch. Caliber, case, and dial by the light of day on our website.